So there's only this, and this is very, is very easy, very normal, very simple. It's just what's happening. And there's nothing special about this message talking. It's not even a message. It's just a normal way of how things are going. The only thing, maybe the difference, is that they're saying there's no one. There's not someone inside. There's not my life. It, there's no center. There's nothing happening to me or to you. There's no one. It's it's empty. But even that is not a special emptiness or something. It's just very literally seeing that front and that's everything. It's like little children. It's really literally without, um, how do you say, the abstracting anything. And what, what's happened when the, the child is a few years, two, two years old, or like that, there, there can be a sudden, when there's a contracted energy, there seems to be suddenly distance. And there seems to be me and you. And then it suddenly seems, because the brain can abstract and see like there's a distance, that the oneness, there's something like one is lost. And that's a huge, seems a huge difference that there's something lost, there's something gone wrong. And there can be a lot of people that feel like it's, it's me, I'm not doing, I'm not good enough. Or there's maybe about the world, the world is, we have to save the world, we have to do something about what's going on. Or blaming somebody else some, because there's, there was something going wrong. Je geluid is weg, Roos. Ja, je geluid is weg. Roos, je geluid is weg. Ik hoor het, maar ik kan niks eraan doen. Is het weer terug? Ja. Oh. Oké. Okay. Ah, I'm so good in computers. <laughs> no. Okay, okay, what's strange, how did that work? Oh, maybe there's this. Oh, sometimes I'm putting something like that. Okay, I don't know if you heard everything. It was very special what I did say, so it's very, oh. it's, um, I don't know even how to start again. <laughs> there's no one. There's no one. There's no one doing anything. There's already no one. And this is very normal, no one. What we are used to do is that when there's something going on and there seems to be something missing, there's always making it into something better, something I want to have that, or maybe something from other people comparing that with or other circumstances. It's like it's making it into a goal or like I want to go there. Is it that's better than this? This is talking about that there's nothing better than anything else. It's what it is. It's very simple, ordinary this. And when they're saying there's no one, it's not like there's a feeling of no one. It's a clarity of no, there's no one. It's the loss of the idea or the belief there's someone. So it's... You could say it's the other way around. It, this is not about suddenly having more clarity or suddenly reaching this, something like that, or losing the me. This is about loss, the loss of all concepts and beliefs about what's going on and how to do things. And that there's someone, it's just, and that, that don't, there's maybe that what happened here, this in the beginning when that could say the story, that um, the, the story didn't go on. The, 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 and then suddenly it was obvious there, there's nothing. There was a lot of clarity about what was going on. But that fell away. So there's, it's, there's nothing left. So there's also no clarity or an understanding of what's going on. 
There's no need for clarity and understanding. There's no need to look at yourself in dealing with what's going on. Because that dealing what's going on is just thoughts coming. There can be thoughts, but thoughts don't have any power. It's thoughts, energy. And we believe that all those thoughts are true. They have power. It's very important to think in the right way and all that. It's just thoughting. And it's then there's a table and then there's something else. Nothing is more important than anything else. So it's already complete. It doesn't matter if it's small or tiny or big or strong or subtle or sometimes with feelings you think like, oh, I only, I can't feel sadness or something like that. That what is felt is it. When there's nothing going on, then there's nothing going on. There's no feeling. Yeah. So what? This is not about someone. It's not about the life of someone. There is, say, like, there's no rose. There's no life of rose. There is no rose or anyone else. There are no individuals. There can see bodies, streets, feelings. But there's no time. Time is also a construct in the story that suddenly when there's can being able to abstract, then there's suddenly understanding what it means like tomorrow and after this. Really little children don't understand that. They don't understand time like before two years or something like that. And also they don't understand distance. When you say then you have to go like there and over there behind a chair, you can pick it up. They completely don't understand that. It's funny because it's seen, then it's suddenly seen like, oh, it's not uh, the, the, the simple way of being there. It's the, the brain that can abstract, that sees distance. And it doesn't mean when they're seeing distance that everything is lost. It's only that they're seeing distance, but it doesn't mean there is distance. And that's funny because that, when they're seeing something, it's believed it's real and solid normally. Also with time. It's not about tomorrow, yesterday, maybe that's a lot of times it can be very obvious that when they're thinking about yesterday, it feels like, was it really happening? I can't even remember everything. It's, it's so vague and all that. So then there's already something going on, like, is there time? But when there's go, it's going on about before and after, and consequences, then it seems very strong. It's because you said that I feel this and that's wrong. I feel very bad. So you should change that. You should do something else and all that. There's no before, there's no after, and there's also no one. So this is what we talked about yesterday. There's no one to blame. This is about no escape, no escape from anything. This is not nihilism, like saying, oh, it's what it is. And then just when there's a really strong pain, it's, yeah, it's what it is. And then move on. No, there's not saying that to something that's happening. When there's pain, there's pain full on in the way it is. When it, it can be strong or subtle or anything. It's what it is. And there's nothing arising to change it to work with it or do something with it. It's pain and that's that's it. So there's no escape. But when there's no escape and when there's nothing going on, trying to change it or feeling it's bad or I don't want this, then, so, then suddenly it's like, oh, it's pain. But in the same time, it's not there and it's it's not awful. It's pain, it's a sensation, very strong. But it, it's different than when there's a fight about against what's going on. The suffering, mo most of the time, the suffering is the worst. That feeling that what did I do about it and how, why does it happen and what can I do to change it and what did I do wrong and maybe I can do that. Oh, there's a disappointment. I didn't do enough and all that. That's the suffering. That's lost. That's the, the story of me thinking that there's a free will, there's a choice. 
and there's control. There's being able to control my life because it's very, it seems very obvious. It's my life and everything is happening to me. So in that way, this is the good news. There's no one, so there's no center. Nothing is happening to you. There can be circumstances. It's only that, what is happening. It's not happening to you. There's no one. And so there's also no continuation. When there's no time, it's huge because time that assumes that there's also continuation. When there's no continuation, continuation, there's not someone existing. That's huge because there's a lot of, it can be a lot of investment in how I am and what I'm doing. And now it's going in the right way. I feel much better than before and not comparing with other people and all that. And suddenly there's hearing, oh, but well, there's no one. It's, it's not even your life. There's only life. life. Life doesn't see an individual. Life doesn't see you or me. It's energy. It's energetic what's going on. It has nothing to do with a person. It's what it is, pain, feeling. It's somewhere in space. It's not what also happens when there's that abstracting and feeling it's two and I'm here and there's that other person. Then the world seems to be real. Everything seems solid and real. And what's lost, it seems to be lost, is that it's one. It's one energy. It's just going. It's one soup, you could say. And then everything is going, but it's not happening to someone. And then suddenly it seems like, oh, there's me. There's, there's also something else. So there's having to deal with life and to make life happen in a certain way. Responsibility, maybe guilt don't do enough, you did the wrong thing. Right and wrong is also in only in the story. There's only in the story there's right and wrong. It's a construct. It's a misunderstanding, you could say that. There's no right or wrong. It's what it is. Right and wrong is only by most of the time right is that I feel it's it gives me a nice feeling and wrong is like pain and uh, stress and all that. It gives stress. So circumstances that give stress are wrong, something like that. And when I feel good about things, then it's a person or some other things, then they are a good person, something like that. It's very, in that way, it's very simple. But there are no right and wrong. There are no good or wrong circumstances or right and wrong people. It's what is happening. It's what it is. Pain can happen. Stress, fear can happen. It's, this is not talking about this in the end when there's no me, there's no fear and no anger anymore. No, anger and fear is what's happening. That can happen. It, the only difference can maybe can be like it's not happening to someone. It was already like that. But the belief, the embodied belief that there's, it's happening to me or to someone else is lost. So it can be fear, can be anger, irritation. It's very normal. Talking about mothers and something else. It's, this is not a special way of living. This has nothing to do with that. It's everything. That's the joy. It's everything. So there's no restrictions. There are no rules. It's energy, ener energy, energy. It's, there are no rules. It's free. And it's full on. So it's not about escaping from, from pain or things like that. Also pain is full on. Everything is full on. In a way it is. So we can talk about that. Maybe there are questions. And we can talk about anything. Maybe there are questions in the story also. Then we talk about that and we see what's going, what's going on in the story. When there's nothing coming, then there's nothing coming. When there's falling asleep, then, then that's what's happening. 
when they are not listening, then that's then there's something else. Hearing a sound, yeah. Nothing matters. It's everything. It's what it is. So if you want to say something or ask or share maybe or something else, please do. You can also use the chat to type it if you want that. There's also something going on when there's a feeling of missing and something is not right yet or that that's dry. There's, there's a drive, can be a drive to find it. There can be a drive to find love. There's a feeling somewhere or a, a, somewhere there's a sense of there's, it's, it's about love or unconditional love. It's about um, maybe freedom. And it's about silence. There's something going on. But normally what's going on is that it's looking in the story about a feeling, a feeling of love, like when there's a feeling of love between two people or a child and a father or a mother. And that, and it seems like it's about that. It's about that feeling that, that you have, um, you, you need to have unconditional love for your child that, or there's something going on like freedom and then there's trying to get that or feel that or deal with life and feel free about it or things like that. It's always in the story. And when this, and when the, this talking is about non-dualism, it has nothing to do with the story. Unconditional love is not in the story. It's unconditional love is everything. It doesn't matter what it is. It's all circumstances, it's all feelings, it's all everything. Anger, pain, everything is already unconditional love. It's life, paining. And we assume that there's a, 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 a dividing between right and wrong and awful and nice. So there's always looking for something nice or good or happy. And it's endless because there's always something missing in that and not, not really understanding about what's going on. And it seems like maybe an understanding or knowledge can help or clarity can help to find what I feel I missed or it's not complete or something not right yet. And th this is everything already. It's already complete as it is. So there's, when there can be a looking for it or searching, it will never be found because it's everything. It seems to hide in being everything. That's the stunning of life. And they're saying something, somebody's saying, sometimes I'm so touched by this. And then the thought arises, I cannot pack my stuff in this way. Yeah, that it's, it can be suddenly so, wow, overwhelming and so stunning that it's everything. It's that face. It's the way that everything is moving, circumstances. And then suddenly something comes in. Yeah, but, and then. The whole story starts again. It's so energetic. It's so can be so embodied, though. 
not even in the mind can be so strong that feeling there's something wrong or oh, yeah it's not yet there it can't be not yet there that thought it's not yet there is it it's just a thought and there can be a misunderstanding because it's taking it seriously and thinking it's really like that thoughts are so true or things like that there's only thoughts there's no meaning in thoughts that's the curse of people that we can understand we can hear words and make it into a story and all that and then it seems to be to be right and wrong animals don't have that <laughs> And it's not about not that some people think it's about uh, then I can sit down and it will happen. That's a new way of trying to deal with what's going on. It's everything goes by itself. So maybe they are sitting the whole day. <laughs> that can happen. But there's no no way to this, no road to this. Of course not, because it's everything already. Ah. A little girl's on the street walking through a huge water plus. It's so lovely. Yeah, it's just that. Being wet. <laughs> it's just like, it's fun. It's just doing that. It's not always fun being a child. It can be fun. It can be crying. Mm -hmm. Then it's something else. Yeah, <laughs> it's full on. And it's the innocence, what we're looking for also. Like, we want to be like that innocence of that little child just being around. Not, and when most of really little children don't have that looking at themselves and busy with what am I doing and how can I deal with this and this, oh, I should not do this. That, that innocent, that whole awareness of looking at yourself when that's lost, then it's suddenly very obvious, oh, that's the innocence. It's already there, but there's on top of that, there's that looking at it and thinking this is right and this is wrong, should and shouldn't and all that. There's only innocence. You can't do it wrong. It's, there's no right and wrong. Only in the story, there can be an idea about things or a belief.
Mm. That's a chat. I know this is true. I recognize it. And me is so embodied and strong. I have been listening to this for over 10 years, but I had the idea that my life was so busy that I had no focus or enough awareness to see what was really going on. That's a very strong one. That's a very strong one to, to be aware of things going on and to more to be more aware of what and to be in the now and all that. There, there's, when there's me, when I'm, I'm here, there's always something right or wrong. So that jumps on whatever. There can be jumping on no money. There can be jumping on relation. It also can on, on being aware of spiritual things that I have to be more aware of what is going. I'm not so focused. I'm, I'm, there's always something that isn't right yet. And then working on it and being busy with it. It's confirming that there's me as, as a free will and choice. So then when that awareness is more and more there, it seems like, oh, it's working and I'm, it's going better. And then it's jumping on something else. It's, it's endless. There's always something that needs progression or needs to work on and all that. So it's an endless trying to feel free or to be free or something else. It can't see that it's already everything. It doesn't matter what it is. When there's no awareness or when there's forgetting a lot of things. Yeah, so what? It's, there's no your life. It's, it's not, even forgetting is not something that happens. It's, it's an idea of how it should be. It's complete as it is. But that's so stunning to hear that it's complete as it is. We are so, not only in the mind, but there's such a deep belief that there's gone something wrong. It can't be everything. Just sitting. What is that sitting? That It has to be something and then there's looking in the story. And that simplicity, it's just sitting. And then suddenly it's like, oh, it's sitting, it's everything. It's not about something that happens in the story or how I feel or all that. That can be busy with that. And in the same time, it's that sitting or walling. It's already that. And there's suddenly there's, oh, that's life. It's full on. It's already complete. And then the story comes in again, maybe. And then, but also the story, it's, it's a lot of thoughts. There's nothing wrong with being in the story. It can be frustrated and so convincing that there's need work to do and things like that. It's a misunderstanding, but it's so strong. It's so convincing. It's already this, how the face is looking, how the hands their hands, suddenly seeing a hand. It's that simple, like babies. They're looking at her, oh, oh, what's like that? That simplicity. Mm. The story seems to be stronger when I play my role as a mother because of the responsibility. It does go wrong, I feel sometimes. Yeah, there are a lot of ideas about motherhood and children and the children need, need to be happy all the time. <laughs> all that. There are so many ideas about how you should be. That's in, in a lot of things, but in motherhood that can be also very strong with children. And also in children, there's no one. 
So that that idea that you have to take care of them is is just a misunderstanding. It's what it's it the the idea I, that idea that this is not about you don't need to take care of them. Just go and then it's hap- it's like it's already happening by itself. What's going on? And we on top of that we think we have making the dis- have made the decisions. We are responsible for what's going on. It's on top of what's going on. What's going on is already happening. It's energetic, so that's that's no one doing that, no other children, no other mother. It's just going, and then on top of that, there seems to be a mother that has a responsibility and looking at it. And there's also right and wrong. Oh, this is right because she she's go all uh, the children are going all right, or it's the focus on if the children are feeling good, then I'm a good mother. It has nothing to do with that. There can be pain. Or crying, or shouting, I don't know, anything. Then that's what's happening. And then there's the table. It's not only the mother and the child. There's there's the table. There's circumstances. There's drinking coffee. We are so focused on ourselves and what's going on, or maybe on children. What's going on over there? It's what's happening. So there's. There's nothing more important than anything else. Children are not more important than a table. (laughs) That's crazy to hear. Well, it's just that, and there can be a child shouting and there can be a response or maybe not, I don't know. There's no one doing that, there's no one. So there's that, there can be all kinds of circumstances and responses and bodies and even the children seems to be always there when that when there's being at home and you you know my child is at at school or the crash crash I don't know and somewhere else it seems like yeah it's over there and I need need to do something here because she's coming home later or he there's no child there's also no mother that's an idea that we have that there's that those things we are always there so the child is also always there the mother there's no mother there's that body maybe or that face then that's what's happening so there are no children and then sometimes they come in and then oh there is a body it's like that it's very literally and there's so many ideas about how to deal with everything there's no one so it's not even being able to deal with it, but the, the belief that we can, that we have a free will, and on top of that, responsibility and guilt and all that. It's a construct. That's the story. The story is a dream. It's just a story. It has no influence at all. And we are so busy with it all day, like, how can I do that? Oh, what did I do? And maybe I should more this and all that. All those thoughts, it's part of that story. It can be there, there's nothing wrong with it, but it doesn't go anywhere. It doesn't have any power. It's just thoughts going on. And on, underneath that, it's just what's going on and children playing and shouting and responses. Or maybe they're not there, then there's being at home drinking coffee. I don't know. It's just so, so literally what is there. We are so, um, it's so embodied that belief that I am always here. My child is always there. I have to take care. There are so many beliefs and concepts. This is about the loss of all of that. The control. There is no control, of course. It's, it's full on everywhere and it can be subtle strong it's it's just what's happening very simple not in the story what's happening it's the table a feeling walling walking shouting yeah so what it's going nowhere it is
Ah, there's another. Sometimes it feels that someone is speaking from a projection. I don't know. That can that can be a lot of ideas about how people are doing, and it's. I don't know, and they're speaking. They're speaking. And when there's a feeling, there's a feeling, that's it. Can you say something more about no relationship? Ah, <laughs> that's a strong one, the relations and all and finding that there's someone and then I'm here and then there's someone there. And we are so into that idea that there's time also involved, that like I'm saying something and she is saying or he, and then because of that saying, I feel bad or that it, it it's there's uh, painful or she's hurting me and he is hurting me or he's not responsible or there's so many ideas about how how someone should be or what i need that's also a strong one in relation what i need and somebody uh, has has to take care of me and need and take care is a lot of times in relationships and there's someone who's in need and someone who's taking care and there can be a disbalance and there's endless being busy with what's going on and that can be with children and mothers and fathers or husbands and wives or husbands and husbands and wives and wives and friends and all that there's so many ideas about how it should be because there's a focus on it should be all right when i'm feeling all right then it's good then somebody is nice or something like that <laughs> it, it has nothing to do with somebody else because there's no one so there's no one here but it's also it's not only here it's also everywhere so there are no no individuals so when there's somebody talking, then there's talking and there can be and there can be a feeling that has nothing to do with each other. And that's so strange. We're so into relation that in that sense that that's happening because of uh, I'm feeling bad because of you or things like that. There is no because there is no why there's no time. And there's no one. So there's that that 
maybe that speaking is there. And there's a feeling. Then there's that feeling. It has nothing to do with anything. There's that feeling. And there can be a response and there can be whatever it's going. That's energetic. It's going like that. But it has, it has nothing to do with another person or what seems to happen before. There's no before. So there's only this. So when there's no time, that's huge because that's knocking out all the ideas about sto about story of relation, about hurting, about blaming, about responsibility, because that needs time. It leads to have one person and another person. There's no one. There's never has been someone. And there's no time. So there's only this. So there's that feeling and that's everything. There's nothing before, there's nothing after, there's this, you could say in that way. And then, and, and that's, it's go, it's changing, of course. We are so into the story and to seeing someone and someone else and circumstances and relating. I'm in, I'm the center because that's normally what's going on. I'm the center and it's happening to me. I feel that there's something going on because the circumstances are and that I have no money, so I'm feeling bad or things like I, there are no people around me, so I'm feeling alone and all that. There are so many conclusions and beliefs about how it should be and what's going on about assuming how it should be also. When they're sitting on the couch and there's no other persons in the room, see it like that. And they're thinking, oh, I'm so alone, there's no one, and what are my friends? And all. They're sitting. That's everything. Life is complete as it is. It has nothing to do with other persons or our ideas about love or relationships. It's complete as it is. And when they start sitting, or maybe thoughts, or that wall, the couch, that's everything. And what one that's sitting and that's singular, it's suddenly like, oh, that's the intimacy I was looking for. It's you can't even describe it, but it's that intimacy, it's just that. And it's everywhere. It's not you it, you can't miss it. It's it, it's everything. It's the table, it's the sensation, it's that that intimacy is what the longing is for already. That's unconditional love. It doesn't matter how it shows itself, like the table or a feeling or pain or a body or a book. It's that. That's life. And it's that's the only thing there is. You can't miss it, but we are so focused on how it should be, and this is right, and this is wrong, and you are there, and then there's coming into the story, and there's so much misunderstanding, but it feels so right, and it feels so believed, or conf yeah, it's so, how do you say that? It's so, com com um, how can you say that, that you believe it? It's so strong that. It's what it is. It's not saying that to yourself because that's a new way of dealing with anything. When there's a dealing with anything, then there's always something better than all, and another. Or in the end, it's going that way. It's the loss of all that. But there's n you don't need to wait till that moment that everything is lost. Because it's already everything. So everything is everything. It's also thoughts about, oh, this is not right, then those thoughts are there. There can be a misunderstanding because it can't be not right, but when that's there, those thoughts are there, there's not wrong, it's, but it's only a thought. There's no meaning in anything. Everything is already unconditional love. It's unconditional, it's not a feeling, but it, that's, that's the that's life. There are no rules. It's free. It's everything. So there's also no escape. Well, so what? It's everything. Hmm. 
and then there's so many things. But pain or suffering comes up when we believe our, our ideas in the story. No, it's no, that's the belief that because I'm thinking all this, then they're suffering. And because of the, the, the suffering is the idea that there's something wrong, of course. But it's, there's no because. When there's pain, there's pain. And then it can be on top of that, the belief that there, I did something wrong or I, I was too much busy with but da, 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 da. Pain is just pain. Just pain is pain. Strong, subtle in any way is that. Thinking is thinking. Thoughts can come. There, there are no relations. We are so into, there's a relation because we can abstract and then this is related to that and all that. No, there are no relations. There's no time and there's no one. So how can there be a relation? That's the freedom. Maybe there's not an understanding and you can't, it's, or maybe there's somewhere that can be, <laughs> a sense of, oh, and maybe you can't even understand, it doesn't matter. But somewhere there's the longing of that, that that's the freedom, that there are no relations and no time and, ah. Oh. I don't understand this. What kind of suffering do you mean? What could that be outside the story? Maybe the sadness when someone dies. The suffering, what I mean with the suffering is the idea that there's something wrong and um, being busy with that and all that. But when there's a feeling, that's that's what's happening. The suffering is, oh, what should I do? And all that, oh, there's something wrong. And there's underneath that, oh, in those thoughts. And there's a feeling, that feeling is there. But there's no relation with that feeling and the suffering or the, those thoughts about what's going on. The story is that, what I mean with the story is, is all made up about what's going on. Like this is happening because you said that to me and all I'm not now, I'm, I want to be more busy and all, uh, all those ideas. And underneath that, underneath that, it's in this, no, it's not underneath. There can be those thoughts and there can be also feelings and there's no relation with anything. Those thoughts can be there being busy. That's the story. And there's feeling there can be sadness, maybe. It's a sadness. <laughs> oh. So the story continues. There can be a story, sure, but there, there's no value or meaning in that story. The story still goes on, like there's uh, Let's see, like uh, there's uh, uh, the, the, the phone is ringing and there's in 10 minutes, they're starting the meeting and all that going on and that's still going on. And then they're sitting and talking. There's no meaning in it. There's no importance. It's not serious. <laughs> it's, it's just, it's that. And that doesn't mean it's all the time. Yeah. No, no, it's everything. So there's also crying and pain and the table. It's the life, life is not about Rose or anyone else. But it's not known. It's not being busy with that 
like a clarity and then thinking, oh, no, it has nothing to do with me because there is no me or things like that. That's that's a story. That's the story what we normally do, that we, we try to deal with what's going on and thoughts are, you could say, the carrier of that. It's just doing things, uh, uh, assuming a lot of things and beliefs. And what's happening is not a story. It's hand, table, feeling. It's it's singular. So there's no relation to this and the table, or there's no time. But in the story, that still goes on. Then they're still going, making a list and going to the shop and forgetting the list maybe and writing it down and yeah, just all that. That still, of course, that still goes on. But there's the loss of all that meaning and all that. But it doesn't mean that in the store, that when there's going on, it's very difficult to, to describe how that's going. There's nothing going on like when there's, no, it's, it's, how can you tell this? What's lost is that awareness to 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 notice what's going on so there's there's everything going on and when somebody is saying something to me uh, really like that there can be a response like oh like that or anything it's just normal so uh, people won't notice that there's no one because it's just normal normal responses or whatever what there can be that sometimes with friends there's nothing going on. This is right and this is wrong. And that there can be a sense of that. But normally it's so normal that there's nothing going on about writing wrong that it's not noticed. It's more noticed when there's something wrong and people say like, yeah, that was awful because she was saying that all the time and all that. So we focus on what's not right. But when it's going easily, then it's just already forgotten then when we go on. So it's so normal, that's more like it. It's that easy. It's also not noticed. People say sometimes it will be very quiet in your head. When they say, and I think, oh, yeah, there are not so many thoughts. But it's normally not noticed because, yeah, <laughs> it's just like that. When, when there's something not there, the funny thing is when that everybody knows that when some beliefs or is not there anymore, you forget it was there. And then somebody says something about it and you think like, oh yeah, I was busy with that all the time. And now, oh, suddenly it wasn't. And I completely forgot it was an issue. So it's the same thing. So there are no issues. <laughs> oh. Rose? Yeah. Hi. Hi. Hey. Yeah. yeah. I was thinking about uh, relating. Um, yeah. And I was thinking like, so relating happens like in thinking and feelings. Uh, so I can say like, if I don't think about something, I don't relate with it. Don't relate with it. Yeah. Like if I don't think about somebody, I, I don't relate with him then. Or it's, it's something else. Is it about thinking? The relating, mm. thinking of feeling. Yeah, it's a hop. I don't know. I, there's some. There's a lot of beliefs about how it should be and how it shouldn't. And that can be when there's feelings. It's also related to that person. So it seems like it's because of you, and that it's. It can be very complicated. So. Yeah. Because. Yeah, because you, because you still think sometimes like about your husband or about your children that can happen yeah sure yeah oh. irritation why do you do that no I'm not saying that but it's no that, i don't like that <laughs> yeah of course yeah yeah doesn't mean he has to change no it's just i don't like that <laughs> yeah yeah so so what is not there anymore is like that there is no one I'm trying to think like if if they're still like thinking about, for example, you can think about your children, mm. but there's no one like relating to it, to that. There's not so much thinking about my children, but it's, there can be suddenly like, oh, 
how is he going? Oh, I'm writing a, 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 a WhatsApp or a phoning, something like that. And there's so, a discussion and then it's gone again. So the relating would be like being busy with it, right? Like being as a story. Yeah, like, oh, I didn't hear from it for a long time already. Yeah, 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 what okay. is going on? Oh, yeah. I'm so fed up that always I have to call. <laughs> all, that, yeah. all that stuff, maybe something like yeah. that. That's the story. That's, that that's doesn't you, arrive. Yeah. That's what you call relating. Yeah, that's relating. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But there's still... When there's a, uh, one of the children coming in the house, there's knowing there's one of my children <laughs> and saying, <laughs> it's my child. Yeah, that's just no, because that would be so so weird to say like, yeah. oh, you're, um, I don't know. <laughs> it's, it's, no, it's no, when I'm hungry and not saying, oh, not I am hungry, there is hunger. I said, ah, it's very, it's just no, because that would be a, a strange way to, to react yeah. but there, in the same time there's it's very obvious there's hunger yeah. it's just a way of communicating imagine like one of the children comes in and you say like who are you <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> i will laugh i would laugh oh my god that's amazing if they do that <laughs> maybe, maybe you can try it one time <laughs> <laughs> oh my god yeah. yeah thank you yeah yeah thank you It's, it's very difficult to say how it is. It's a loss. So when you're we, when it's an issue and where you evolve in that story with, with relation and beliefs and how it's going, then that's the issue. When the issue is lost, how can you say what's going on? I, it's just what's going on. But when there's an issue, you can talk about it. And that's the funny thing. And trying to find out what's the best way and all that. There's no best way. So, what can you say? But that's also amazing that there's no best way. That there's nothing going on. That no, no, that someone is not saying to you, I should do that or that's better than that. It's just what's happening. There's nothing right or wrong. That's huge. That's unconditional. Doesn't mean it's nice always. No, it has nothing to do with that. Yesterday I had a job talk and a man was asking me what is my trap. I couldn't answer in that way. What is my trap? I don't know what you mean with trap. Falco. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, you didn't know what to say. Oh, well, yeah, no, that can happen. Yeah, sure. Mm. Yeah. There's so many ideas about what's going on in life and looking at yourself and what's how are you, what what's going on in you, all that. I have a friend and it's always going, what's going on in you? And I'm like, I don't know what to say. <laughs> because, yeah, when that at that moment I can say I, it's warm, maybe, or something like that. <laughs> For the rest, I don't know. There's nothing busy with an issue or things like that, so... Maybe that's what people ask. You have some issues and being busy with that and what's your issue or trap or all that. And that's not there. How can you say what's going on? I don't know. <laughs> mm. 
drinking coffee. Yeah. And it can be sitting with a friend and suddenly telling a story about what happened yesterday and then talking about it and then it's gone again. Yeah, or not. When there's nothing right and nothing wrong, what is there to be busy about? <laughs> it's what it is. Then, yeah, that's the simplicity. And also the freedom, it's what it is. There's no escape from anything. Well, there's no need. It's life, it's unconditional love, tabling, sitting, painting, it's, it's pain. There can be a sensation somewhere, then that sensation is there. That can be full on. Yeah. There's nothing wrong with anything. All right. That can also happen in these meetings. Maybe there's a, a little bit understanding or maybe not so much. It doesn't matter if there's understanding or clarity about what's being said here. There's something else going on too about that. There's no right and wrong. There's no one. That's energetic too. It can be sensed in the, it's the energy of the, of these meetings. There's nothing right. There's nothing wrong. That's, that whole construct is bu busy trying to make it right. And there's no answer in that, no response on that, no way out or things like that. So that's, it needs confirming. And when that's not happening, it's just fall, can be falling apart or falling still and not knowing what to say anymore. And in another way, there's something else going on. It's different for everybody. But... So it's not about understanding. can be nice. It's not wrong to trying to understand.
Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. Uh, my mom died. There was a shock. Yeah, I expected that the feelings would be big, but there was not such a big sadness that lasted for a long time. It was short and normal. And I also saw that she left nothing, no hole, no meaning. Life just went on. Oh, yeah. 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 Can be like that. Sure. Mm. Amazing. Then you expect so much uh, something else. And yeah, yeah, yeah. Then when there's no story around and all the world busy, then there's this. Yeah, can be like that. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Rose. Yeah. Uh, another question. But yes. There's still, still like feeling to another person. Like there's still like, mm. like they can feel for somebody else. Like they can feeling time. love, but we assume it's for somebody else. I don't know. It's just that feeling. Yeah. Yeah. Like if I meet somebody, you know, like mm. there is this interaction, there is exchange, there is like mm. talking, feeling. Mm. Sometimes I have the a feeling I feel the other, like I can feel sometimes like their emotion and stuff. So there is like something going on still. But emotions, be. emotion, when there's emotions, we assume it's from the other or something. No, that, that's because we are, we assume that there's someone who having emotions and here. Emotions happen in space. So it's not in the body. It's somewhere in space. So most people can feel it, but it doesn't mean it's yours or mine. It's their emotion, that feeling happens yeah, in the room. Like, like, like if I sit in the room on my mm. own, and yeah. then somebody comes in, yeah, something changes. I mean, something yeah. will change. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But we assume it's because of that, and that's the normal right. way. But it's strange to hear that then. There's a change. There's only a change. It's not because of something. There's a change. It's changing all the time. Yeah. But yeah. because we we live, we have relation all with circumstances and seems like this is causing something here or so. So then when there's a change, somebody comes in the room, then it's because of that. But it change. It, there's a change all the time. Could yeah, say right. That, so, right. So you can say you can say the energy, the energy changed in the room. Yeah. Of course, or whatever. Then, I mean, yeah. but it's not because of circumstances or whatever. Yeah. 
Yeah. Wow, that's interesting. Yeah, that's interesting. That's sure. But you can, <laughs> but you can still say like, okay, like, uh, there is no one, but there are two bodies. There are like apparently yeah, there are be... two bodies. Yeah. They're seeing a body. Yeah, of course. Yeah. 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 But there's no one in. How do you know there's someone inside? We assume it's there. Yeah. How do you know? <laughs> it's more there. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> but that's so strong. It's so up. It's so like it, we have so many beliefs, and it's so well. There's yeah, questions. Yeah. It's like how do you know that what there's inside? Yeah. I. I yeah. I don't know. Yeah. That's. Yeah. Uh, yeah that's. So I can say like all there is is like constant change. There's thing it's changing yeah. all the time. Yeah, in that way. Yeah, you could say. Yeah, in yeah. that. Yeah, it's this and this and this, but it's yeah. yeah. It's yeah. There's no following. We don't know exactly like what and when, why it happens, or from whom, or where it's coming from, or. Yeah. No, that but the difficulty for people is that we can abstract, so the brain can fill in the gaps, uh, can can relate and can say because and why, and so it seems like a big story where all things are happening and when we could do things about it and all that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's only about that being able to abstract, but it's a story. It's not happening. It's just hand. That's everything, or a yeah. feeling. Because, you, yeah, you can explain that, right? It's amazing. Yeah. 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 It's so convincing. It's so embodied and real, seems so real. And then suddenly hearing, oh, it's only hat. Huh? Well, it's that simple. And it's, that's the freedom. Yeah, because I can so of course, I sit in the room alone and then somebody comes in and then everything yeah. changes. So it's yeah. so obvious, like, yeah. because of that, right? Yeah. That's what we know. Yeah, that's the normal way of people doing that. Yeah, yeah of course. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I no, love it. Yeah. No cause and effect. That's <laughs> wow, that's so big. It's like, oh my God, what that's when that's out of the window, wow, what what how can you how can you tell things and how can <gasps> there's no relation? Whoa. Yeah. Yeah, because they, because then you cannot say because of this and this and that. Like you yeah. cannot say yeah. So in that way, you could say there's no escape because it's an ex also a yeah, kind yeah, of yeah, escape yeah. of what's yeah. happening. Can be. Yeah. Well, there is no gap because it's just happening all the time. Like it's. Uh, yeah. yeah, all the time. Yeah. Like, it's difficult to, to say. Yeah. How it, yeah. 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 Mm. yeah. 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 It's really a mystery. In a way, it's a mystery. Yeah, but it's it in the same time it's very ordinary and simple. It's yeah, yeah. it's just that. And that that in that way it's not a mystery. But when there's looking at it and uh, when there's someone and feeling there's connections and all that, then it seems like what are you talking about? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Mm. It's amazing that people want to listen to that. It because it's so many ideas about what's going on and all that and then this that that there's what someone like me or other people saying yeah it's it's sitting that, that people want to hear this <laughs> and in the same time why does not everyone want to hear this because this is so freeing and so stunning that it's that and then wow it's that's the celebration of everything Ah, that's so amazing. Oh. Yeah, that's I was thinking the same. Like it can sound hor uh, horrific or very freeing. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, yeah. yeah but I love it. I mean, during the, I mean, during the day in the story, so many times it's like it's, it's like we just don't even know what is exactly happening, but you just go through that yeah, yeah. automatically. You go through that. Yeah. Yeah. You don't, I don't really um, think like, oh, what is happening and why it's ha no, it's just like, no, happening automatically. Yeah. No. Yeah. No. Mm. Very beautiful. Mm. Thanks. Yeah, thank you. Mm.
Hi, Rose. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Hi. Yeah, I, hi. I just felt like uh, saying hi, and I like you so much, and it's good to see you. Oh, great. <laughs> Thank you. And I really feel like asking you how are you and John doing in general? <laughs> what do you ask? What? How are you and also John doing these days? Oh. How are you? <laughs> are you all right? We're all good. right? Yeah, oh. yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. Mm, thank you for asking. Oh, no. Nice. Mm. Thank you. And, and uh, will you travel to Vietnam this year? Or what yeah, yeah, we travel. To... Yeah, yeah, yeah. There are already yeah. a lot of, there are more and more people uh, signing in. So it will be great. Oh, yeah. It's yeah. going to be good. Okay. Looking yeah. forward. Huh? Yeah. 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 I'm looking. Mm. You, Yeah. You you are coming. No, you're coming. No, no. No, no. Ah, no. Okay. We are we are actually uh, moving so uh, no no space and time for big travels. Ah, okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah so uh, okay. Good to see you. <laughs> oh, nice speaking to you. That's all. Bye. Okay. Bye. Bye. Oh, yeah. Yesterday, you mentioned something about in intimacy with the room, the table, because there's no other. There, this is the same. Can you say something about that? Uh, no others. It's more like, it's not no other, it's one. When there's one, it's singular. Normally, we think in two. There's, there's me and sitting. I am sitting on the chair or... There's me and the table, or I'm seeing that. And the we so assume that I'm seeing the wall. And then suddenly there's only walling. There's not I'm seeing that. It's there's walling. That's everything. There's no one seeing that or feeling that or no one. It's walling or sitting or table. 
that's the intimacy. That's there's one. It's singular. And when there's two, there's feeling of there can be a searching for that intimacy or love or whatever that freedom it's it's every it's you can call it freedom and intimacy and love unconditional love there's there's a, a feeling of loss in that way that because when there's two there's always that's it's not really it feels like it's not really everything it's just there's something ah i'm not satisfying or something like that not enough and then suddenly there's that it's not that I'm looking at it, but there's only walling, and then so, oh, that's that's the intimacy, and it's everywhere. It doesn't matter what it is. It really doesn't matter what it is. So what circumstances, uh, if there's, yeah, it doesn't matter. It's everything. You can't do this. It's about loss, the loss of all trying and all being busy. But you can't do that. You can want that loss also, of course, I can imagine that. But it's everything already. So the trying, that we were, that is it too. So in that way, it's never lost. It's, it can't be lost. It's everything. But we think we are so focused on the trying and being busy with uh, with a goal, and then, but being busy is it? It's that feeling, or thought maybe. So you can't look for it because it's everything. Or you can find it. You can look for it, but you can't find it, of course. <laughs> There's nothing lost. This is this is already complete as it is. So there's there's already no one. There's there's already no control. There's already nothing lost. This is complete table in that form. Coffee. Oh, empty. <laughs> it's it's that. It can be a feeling, but it's not my feeling. It's somewhere in space there can be a feeling. And that's what's going on. There's no one feeling it. That's two. And that feels like there's something. Ah, And suddenly there can be a lot of, you could say in the story, a lot of moments, there's nothing going on. There's no me. There's not being busy with things. There's just cooking or walking. That's already then. Then it's can, it's complete as it is. But the feelings or the the looking at it is not wrong, because there's. But that's so involved in that idea of that when there's a looking at it, there seems to be something right or better or worse. Or that's so embodied in that construct. Can't be wrong. It's exactly how it is. already so there's nothing to look for this meeting is doesn't go anywhere there's no need to be in this meeting or to listen there can be listening or hearing sounds then that's what's happening then that's it there's no meaning there's no purpose in that, in anything life it hasn't purpose it is and it's everything and it it's not solid or real. It's an appearance of streets and bodies and feelings and coffee. It's everything. When, when the meeting is ending, then they can be saying hello, hello, then that's what is. That sound is what is already. So there's nowhere to go. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Ah. <laughs> oh, wonderful. Oh, thank you. Oh, wait. Oh. <laughs>